I have no more on you. Imagine 
if you didn't practice and then you're out on stage or you're up in the game and you blow it because you didn't know what you were supposed to be doing. Did that just hurt you or does it hurt the whole team? The whole team. And does it hurt the people who came to watch you, who expected you to be doing your very best job? Yeah. Then they're disappointed, aren't they? Yeah. So, do you know what? As Christians, we need to practice too. Did you know that? If we're going to be good Christians, if we're going to do the very best that we can do, we need to practice. What do you think we need to practice? Any ideas? We don't have to wear a uniform. We're just as we are. But what do we need to practice so that we can be the very best? Being nice to your brother and sister and to those people around you. That's right. Is it always easy? No, it is not always easy to be nice to your brother and sister or to people at school, what is it? What else do we do? You're admitting that, so, you know, we're going to offer him forgiveness. <laughs> um, what else? What else do we need to practice? Well, we need to practice reading the Bible, God's holy word, because how do we know how to be good Christians if we don't read the Bible, right? What else? There's more. <laughs> Praying. We need to practice our prayers. Praying's not easy, you know? Sometimes it's really, really hard because you fold your hands and you bow your head and you go, um, and you just don't know what to say because you think you're going to sound dumb. You know what? God doesn't think any of your prayers are dumb. Not one of them. In fact, he just wants to hear you pray. He wants to hear you pray. He wants you to see and treat other people the way you like to be treated. He wants you to read his word. He wants you to, this one might be the hardest one of all, maybe. Listen to your mom and dad and be obedient. What do you think about that one? <laughs> Eyes roll. <laughs> all of those things are important because they help us to become better members of God's team. Do you know what God's team is called? The church. Not just this church, but the church down the road in Kent, the church up the road at Creek, the church everywhere. We want to be good members of the team because we don't want to disappoint God and we don't want to disappoint all the people who are coming to find God. Because they find God because of us. If we're not doing those things, if we're not practicing, how are they ever going to know about Jesus and how much he loves them? How are they ever going to know that Jesus is so strong, so mighty, and he's able to do it all? It's all because we keep practicing. Reading our Bibles, saying our prayers, Practicing being a good person, you know, all of those things. So that's the challenge. You know, next week, starting next week, we're going to have lots and lots of people here at the church. Lots and lots of little people, just like you. And it's going to be extra hard to be kind and nice because there's going to be lots of different personalities. And maybe some of those kids have never been to Sunday school. Maybe some of those kids have never been to church. You're going to be the light of the world. Don't put it under a bushel. Don't let Satan get out. Keep practicing, okay? All right. Hands up. Hands down. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that we're a part of your team. Help us to practice our skills all the time, every day to be good followers of you and your light in the world. We ask these things in Jesus' name and all God's kids said, amen, amen, amen. Thank you.